It has been almost one year since I decided to quit my job and within this year I was able to go from one to six income streams. In this video I'll share with you how I did that, all the mistakes I made, what I learned in the process and what you should definitely avoid doing. Finally of course I'll also talk about how much I made in 2023 and what I plan on changing this year. Starting with YouTube, I launched this channel last January and in total I published 10 videos. Three of those performed relatively well, each receiving a few thousand views. The rest of them though only received a few hundred views, which is common when you are just starting out, so it didn't bother me that much. The easiest way to make money on YouTube is by joining their advertising program, but to become eligible you first need to have at least 500 subscribers and 3000 watch hours. For this reason, I lost a lot of potential revenue on my way there, but I did manage to join their program and start making some income after my first semi-viral video. So in total for 2023, I received 130,000 views, 5,800 new subscribers and about 184 euros in revenue, which equates roughly to $201.58. My main mistake here is publishing way too few videos in last year and putting a lot of effort into videos that were not that interesting to begin with. That's why in 2024 I plan on doubling my videos and experimenting with different formats within my niche of course. This was my first revenue stream. The second one is also related to YouTube and that is sponsorships. To my surprise, despite the small size of my channel, a few sponsors reached out to me to advertise their brand on my videos. My approach to sponsorships is to only accept those that I'm willing to use myself after I test out what they are offering. With this in mind, I ended up collaborating with two brands in 2023, which has resulted in $1,000 in revenue. The reason I got approached by sponsors this early, I believe, is that I tapped into a topic that was absolutely exploding at that time, which was AI generated images. And I combined that with my business and finance niche to produce something interesting. To be honest, I believe that accepting sponsorships this early was indeed a mistake because I still haven't fully established my channel niche, nor have I built any real trust with the audience, you guys. So instead, in 2024, I decided to focus on growing my audience and solidifying my niche before accepting any additional sponsors. Last year, I also opened an Etsy shop, which was originally named Homemade Life Prints, but was later renamed to Niche Noms. The idea behind this shop is that I was going to use and analyze very carefully the data coming from the market and with the additional help of generative AI, I would create products that sell very well. So I did that and it worked very well actually. For a while, I was bringing in a lot of sales almost every day and I even managed to become a star seller very quickly. But at some point, I realized that in order for me to continue doing well on Etsy, I would have to be listing new products consistently, which if I'm being honest, I did not enjoy doing that much. I love using data and AI creatively. That is what I really enjoy doing. So I started thinking of ways I could pivot my shop to something more relevant to my skills. That was when I decided to list a new spreadsheet product on my shop that I used myself to discover new niches and product ideas to sell in the digital download space. Not only did I enjoy making that product a lot more, but it has also become my top seller ever since. This was also a test I devised to see how many people would be interested in my methods of discovering new niches through competitor analysis. After seeing that people were indeed very interested in this type of product, I doubled down on the idea, created a few more similar products and even rebranded my entire shop to niche norms. The issue with this type of spreadsheets is that the data quickly became outdated and you guys were DMing me all the time asking for a version that had live data. So that's when I decided to start developing a website that does exactly that. 
It is called nichenoms.com. We haven't launched it yet, but you can subscribe to the mailing list to become an early user for the alpha version when it comes out. All of this happened in 2023 and in summary, my shop made 424 sales which generated 1139 euros in revenue which is about $1,249.02. dollars In 2024, I will mostly focus on developing nichenoms.com but I will also occasionally publish new products on my Etsy shop, mostly around holidays and special occasions. My fourth revenue stream is Patreon. From memberships in 2023, I made about $310.84. I also paired my Patreon page with a Discord community, which I think today has about 400 members. The sole reason I created a Patreon page in 2023 was that I would have a way to share funds with some of the more active members of the community. Which I did. I gave about $1,000 to some community members to run ads on their Etsy shops and share the results with us. You can watch the outcome of that experiment here. For 2024, I will focus a lot more on my Patreon page and find ways to provide additional value back to the community in addition to the fans, of course. I will also try to be more active on our Discord server. So if you want to reach out for any reason, Discord is the way to do it this one I will go over very quickly because the results were disappointing to say the least. With all the fuss around AI generated images, I decided to give AI stock photography a shot by sharing 192 images on Wirestock, which is a website that automatically distributes your stock images to other websites like Adobe Stock. So after months of having my images online, I made a grand total of $5. That just didn't sit well with me, so I decided to start searching for my images in several stock photography websites, but I wasn't able to find any of them. I'm not sure if Wirestock didn't share them in the first place, or if the amount of the AI images is so vast that mine simply got lost in the noise. Whatever the case, I decided that it is simply not worth my time. So in 2024, I will be replacing this income stream with something else, anything else really. While I'm doing all these things in the background, very quietly, I'm also pursuing my PhD, which also means that I have to do some work as a teaching assistant. In addition to that though, I occasionally offer other services to people from my academic circle. For example, I recently helped a professor from a different university build a GPT-based prototype for his own research work. This year, I plan to continue taking similar side projects that do not require too much of my time because I see this as a way for me to continue improving my technical and communication skills whilst making a bit of an extra income on the side. Overall this year I made $6,099.30 from this income stream alone. Right after quitting my job, the only revenue stream I had were my investments. I know that if I do not sell any of my assets, technically that is not considered income. But since I was a bit more active last year, which has led to some decent results, I decided to include my 2023 growth here as well. That said, my portfolio last year grew by $12,622.08, which is not that bad. So far, I pretty much invested only on individual stocks, cryptocurrencies and some commodities. Regarding crypto, I stake most of my assets, which generates an additional yield of around 7% annually on average. My goal for 2024 is to start investing in some indexes as well, but also to dive a lot deeper into cryptocurrency swing trading and see where that takes me. I already use AI for my decision making, but I do plan to integrate it even further this year. I'll make sure to share everything from my portfolio to the AI models I use in my investing strategy on this channel. If that is indeed something that you would like to see on this channel, then like this video, subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know exactly what you want me to share. 
To summarize this year from my 6 revenue streams, I made $21,487.82. That is if we include the growth of my investment portfolio. If we do not, then the amount changes to $8,865.74. Now, is this enough to replace the salary I used to make in my previous job? Certainly not, but this was something I expected, so I prepared accordingly before quitting my job. More on that on a future video. In 2023, I also set the foundations for a lot of other things that will start generating revenue this year. So my goal for 2024 is to get to a point where the revenue generated from all my income streams matches or maybe even surpasses my previous salary. To achieve that, I plan on increasing my income streams from 6 to 10, but also growing the ones that I already created. If enough people like this video, then I'll make sure to update you on the progress I made one year from now. So stay tuned for that. All right, that's it. So I'll see you when I see you. Until then, stay hungry, stay foolish. Okay, bye.